Okay everyone, um, this is the final edition of Extremes of Weather. Um, it's going to be talking about um, how much I earn, earnings and tips. Uh, obviously when the weather is really bad, like it has been recently, um, extremely cold weather and uh, more recently the snow, it makes work a lot more productive. Um, as I said before um, and as I maintain, if you're willing to work, um, during extreme weather, um, you're going to get rewarded handsomely. There's going to probably be going to be more surges, and you are going to um, have less downtime. You're probably going to have work's going to be constant. Um, you're going to get a new job before your current job finishes, and um, so you can spend less time on the road and make more money. That's the general gist of it. So um, I'm going to show you some um, screenshots um, from the Uber app. And it's over, these are my earnings over a five week period starting the 29th of January and going right through to, just going to check, the 5th of March. So I've got some notes here because there's a lot of information. So have a look through um, these apps, these um, apps, have a look through these screenshots and um, we're going to break everything down thereafter. Okay, I'm going to look at my earnings and my tips, and I'm going to look at um, some of the deductions that happened over the five weeks. So um, I made, in total, over the five weeks, from the 29th of Jan to the 5th of March, I made £4,450. Um, of that um, £4,450, £135 um, came as um, online tips, yeah, tips through the app from different customers in my car. Um, I also made cash tips, um, probably averaging about £10 a week. I mean, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, yeah. But, I mean, people might drop you two quid, five pounds, I mean, a pound, 50p, 150, whatever, you know. People drop you tips sometimes, yeah. You know what I mean, if they like you. Obviously like me. <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> anyway, um, I did 477 trips, yeah. So trying to, I mean, get a tenner off... I mean, 477 different people, I mean, is not really an issue over five weeks. Um, so, yeah, about 50 quid I made, yeah? Plus or minus a little bit. In cash tips. Okay, um, let's break this down um, into how many hours did I do? 212 hours over five over a five-week period, yeah? Online. These are online hours, yeah? I didn't have that much downtime, yeah? Over this time, the weather's been really cold. It's been raining like it is today. And... Um, there's obviously been snow as well, yeah, and a lot of people were, you know I mean, just trying to get around because public transport went haywire for a couple of days. Okay, um, break down to 42 and a half hours a week. This ran up to like 45, 46 hours, yeah, to include a bit of dead time, you know, where you're waiting for a job. It wasn't, as I said, there wasn't too much waiting, but I mean, occasionally there was. You might have to wait like, I don't know, a couple of minutes for another job to come through. I mean, or if you're at the ends, you might have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, so let's just cut. Um, Put it up to like 45, 46 hours, yeah? Um, I've been doing, oh, on average, a week, yeah? Um, over the five weeks. And that works out to be like six and a half to seven hours every day, yeah? That I've been doing um, around my full-time job, okay? Now, um, fuel. I drive a 2013 model Toyota Prius, yeah? And it costs just under 40 quid to fill the tank. That'll give me somewhere between 400 and 450 miles. Okay, and um, a full tank, I'll make 400 quid off that um, quite comfortably. Sometimes more if there's the prices are surging or if I get quite lucky with the jobs. Okay, insurance, I pay my insurance annually, um, but it works out at just under two and a half grand um, a year. And if we break it down to a daily basis, it's six pounds a day. Yeah, so over the five weeks, it's going to be six pounds times seven days times five um, weeks. 
and that's 210 pounds over that time I paid for insurance, okay? All right, sorry, I've got, got my notes in front of me, yeah? So I get all this information in. Right, um, mileage, how, many, how much mileage did I do over those five weeks? I probably did about 4,000 miles on average, yeah? Um, I haven't really looked through my, um, my diary. I've got a diary here, I put my mileage in, but um, I haven't had actually gone through and calculated it all, but it's probably about 4,000 miles. Somewhere between three and a half and four and a half thousand miles. I don't think it's the upper end. It's probably more like the lower end. Yeah. Um, probably averaging about a thousand miles. I don't know. Somewhere between 800 and a thousand miles a week. Yeah. Um, at the very like maximum level. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah. So you're going to put a lot of mileage in the car if you're, if you're driving for Uber. Yeah. So if you get in the car, know, know, know that you're going to get mileage in it. Yeah. Don't be like all like too, you know what I mean, pretty with your car saying, oh, I don't want to put more than 50,000 miles on it because I want to sell it soon and it needs to get its resale value and blah, blah, blah. I'm keeping my car, yeah, me personally, I'm keeping my car until I'm ready to buy a new one in a few years' time, yeah. This car's going to have all like 300, 400,000 miles on it, yeah. I mean, as long as I change this oil regularly, yeah, you know what I mean, it's going to be running. It's going to be making me money, yeah. The car's going to depreciate. When I go to sell it, I might just get like about three thousand, four thousand pounds for it, yeah. But if that's three thousand and four thousand pounds off my next car, yeah, and I put a little bit on top, yeah, I mean, bring the payments down and and clear that balance as soon as possible, yeah, that's going to work well for me. And I can carry on making this two and a half, three and a half thousand pound um, every month, yeah. So um, we're going to keep that up. Now, let's break this down, yeah. So my actual earnings, yeah, after my, I mean, current deductions. All right, I'm doing um. I did 4,450 quid, yeah? So I'm gonna put the figure up there. Bingo, there it is. Okay, uh, minus, what we got? 210 pound for insurance. Okay, that's gonna go up there as well. Um, minus about 11 tanks of fuel at 39 pound each. Yeah, that's the upper end. Yeah, I think I did about nine, but I'm gonna say 11 anyway, because um, I've got some private miles in there as well. Um, that comes to about 429 pounds in fuel over the five weeks, yeah? Um, 10 pound a week cash tips. So that's 50 quid. And um, I wash my car about three times a week, yeah? The, just the outside. The inside, I probably wash it. I probably hoover it myself, yeah? Um, when I go to work or when I'm at home, all right? Um, so I'm, um, let's take away 75 quid from that for um, car washes. And um, I'm left with 3,786 pounds over the five weeks. Divide that um, um, by five. So you can look at the breakdown of how much I get on a weekly basis. That's seven hundred and fifty-seven pounds and change. Yeah. Um, obviously, um, this is before tax. Um, I get taxed at forty percent, but obviously, um, the car washes, the servicing, windscreen wipers, brakes, whatever else I'm doing, they're all tax deductions. Um, that all these receipts I'm collecting throughout the year, that reduces, um, that offsets my tax. Yeah. So I'll put it in perspective. Um, I make between, on average, I make between two and a half and three and a half grand um, a month. With Uber, yeah, and um, last financial year, um, I paid um, um, my tax bill coming at four and a half grand, yeah. So I paid in January, just gone, I paid two grand tax, yeah, and in July, I'm gonna pay two and a half grand tax, and that's gonna be my tax liabilities for the whole year, All right? Um, I mean, so four and a half grand, yeah, I mean, I can do that in like as you can see I've done it in five weeks you know I mean if I push it for five weeks yeah that's my tax bill out of the way for the year right and the rest of the money is what I earn minus my deductions for servicing and brakes and tires and MOT and the badge and whatever else you know what I mean I mean all those that's all small fry man you know I mean so service my car costs like 150 quid 250 at the most for a major service yeah um, and the badge costs 100 quid, MOT is 50 quid. This is all small money, you know what I mean? I, can, I mean, them, all that money I can, for those little things, I can go and earn that in a day. You know what I mean, a day for the for the service, you know what I mean, a day for the for the badge, you know what I mean? And still have change left over, you know what I mean? So it's all profit, you know? So, yeah, do the maths, yeah? I don't even know what two and a half, well, what's, what's two and a half grand times 12? What's three and a half grand times 12? Yeah, that's the margin of my um of my income, what's coming through my account. Um, every month, yeah, and um, yeah, take away the four and a half grand for the tax, you know, and that's what I'm left with. Um, yeah, that's my profit, man. That's what money goes in my pocket. That's what, that's for my savings, and that's what makes my life that much sweeter. Living in London, 
Um, if you've got any questions or any comments, um, leave them below. I'm going to do another video soon um, about um, how I handle my tax affairs and organise um, my receipts and all that for tax. So look out for that. Um, if you've got any, yeah, got any questions, leave a comment. I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. Um, yeah, just don't. Um, I mean, I'm just getting a bit tired of everyone just fucking insulting me all the time. It's, <laughs> it's a bit dead, you know. You know what I mean? Um, this is me. This is what I do. I'm putting it out there for anybody who's interested. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're a black cabbie and you don't like me, then just, I mean, just say you don't like me, man. I mean, um, trying to be offensive ain't gonna get you nowhere, mate. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, gig guy, London. I'm signing out. Peace.